Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bravely Default 2. Last time we left off, we made our way into the actual research institute. We actually managed to get that far. But it's even longer. So we're going to keep making our way through there. It's a very long dungeon, actually. Feels like one of the longest ones I've done. So. What do we get today? Booster bun. Small JP orbs. Booster bun. Ah. Large experience orbs. Large JP orbs. Okay, this is a good haul. I'm happy already. Small JP orbs. Whatever we, else we get is just icing on the cake. Booster bun, physical defense, and small JP orbs. Thank you kindly. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit up uh, this. What do we got here? Yeah, we got three booster buns here. So, who do we want to use those on? Um, I mean, obviously Seth doesn't really need it. Wait, how does... Ellis has higher defense than Seth? Weird. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who needs the defense the most, though. It's gonna mostly be you. Let's just give one to each of you, because Seth doesn't need it. Magical defense, on the other hand, we will give to Seth. Restoration power goes on you. All right, 10,000 XP. Who do we want these on? We can probably, I'll probably just use them on... Gloria doesn't need to level up too much since he is just our healer. So let's use them on you two to try and catch you up with Seth. So, oh wow, okay, Elvis is caught up with Seth. Elvis is caught up with Seth. Okay, cool. So, now we just need to get Adele up to that level, so... What else did we want to do? Let's see, Gloria... We could go ahead and... Uh, let's let's check what how everybody's doing on uh, job experience. So, we've been over you. You've maxed out... Two classes and are working on a third. You have maxed out two classes and are working on a third. Um, you have maxed out two, three classes, almost. And you have just straight up maxed out three, right? Yep. And you're working on a fourth. So you definitely don't need the JP. But honestly, anyone else's game. And you're only a little bit behind Seth, so... I actually think I know what I'm going to do here, so let's give you a bunch of JP. Blah, 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 blah. You learned something probably, but I didn't see what it is. I'll check that in a moment. Okay, now, after using all of those, let's compare your JP. So your Seth is still going to be a little bit ahead of you, because, yeah. So we're going to use one more of... Um, these bad boys on you, I think. How much does this give you? 750? So let's give you one. That increases it by 1275. And let's give Seth one. So he's closer to maxing out Gambler because ideally I would not want him to be on Gambler for the boss fight. Um, I just kind of put that on him as a joke class and to also get him to max out another class. So yeah. But that's fine. Alright, now we just gotta get back into the dungeon. Back in we go. Alright, so... Yeah, we had to go up here and then there's a teleporter that takes us into a later part of the dungeon or whatever. I'm, I'm super surprised by how long this is. Actually. This is a monumentally lengthy dungeon. Whatever, I'm sure we'll get to uh, our red mage friends soon. Okay, so, bop. The specialty, sleight of hand. Alright, so, we're over here. This is not the way to go. We're gonna go up here. 
And isn't it around that we go? I think so. No. No, I was wrong. Or maybe not? Hey. Okay, well, I'll fight you. We didn't have to battle this episode, and like I said, I want to finish off Seth's, uh... Uh... God, what is the word? Gambler. Jesus. My brain was just failing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off that in this episode if I can. Did you see that? Yeah, that's 78 right there. That's pretty good. So yeah, he's pretty close. I just don't want him to be a gambler for the fight, because that just means he'll die easier. Whoa, big guy. Okay, you're new. Here I go. Um We're gonna mow down. This should do it! Ow. This should do it! Okay, so how much Gigantos? Not sure how much HP you have left. Um I'm gonna guess you don't like thunder, or you're not immune to it. There we go. Okay, apparently he has a lot of HP. No. And I think we can do one more. Oh wait, no, yeah, shit, you don't have body slam anymore. Fuck. I was like, going forward, thinking that you had body slam, but you do not anymore. All right, so we just gotta wait. Unless... Come on, elemental wheel. Make me happy. That sucks. Okay, well, you finished it anyway. Good. Wow, that gave us barely any JP for such a big dude. What a disappointment. And luckily there was another treasure chest back here for me to swipe. What's the plan? Um... Okay, I think we can do this, so I want to do Sky Slicer on you, and then we're just going to attack you guys a bunch. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's going to bop you. We're going to have to wait for the people that actually do damage to come back to their turn. There we go. Well, not not that not that Elvis really does a lot of damage with that spear he's rocking right now, but it's at least more than you guys are doing. So close, Seth. We're so close. Could you get that like big JP pop like now? 1840 peak. I haven't missed any treasure chests around here, have I? I noticed there's still five. I didn't mean to turn around there. Whoops. Um, ah, yeah. Well, this is gonna be fun. Uh, let's do Sky Slicer on you, and I'm hoping that'll just finish you off. Not quite. But you can mow them all down now and finish them. Well, you won't finish them, but they're skeletons, so Gloria can. Okay, uh, oop, nope. Enemies, yeah. Here we go. Heat healing. Okay. Where? Ooh, is that a continuous fight? Option. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know where this uh, these other treasure chests would be. Let's just progress for right now. This place is just confusing as hell. It really sucks to come back to this place after I after it's been in like a day or two since. I've last seen it, and I'm like, I do not have this map in my head anymore. It is not in my head. Like, I kinda had an idea of it going at one point, but now it's just gone. Okay, Water Golem's weak to ice. Um... Will that kill you? I don't even, I don't even have enough casts. I got enough cast for like a few blizzards. Yeah, now we're done. God, these golems are so annoying. Um, yeah, sure. Elemental wheel it up. Water? Thank you. Okay, that's fine. 
Null damage is good too. There we go. I'm amazing. Okay, like two more fights. A sprite and pixie gym, huh? Hi. God, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so fucking lost in this area. Would it have killed them to give me a map? Would it have killed them? Uh, let's just take these two boys out. Boom, boom. Okay. And just... Oh, you can't mow down. Well, just try to take out that one Ventus element. We're out of MP. Um, I'm going to cure you. Three times might do it. Okay, almost. But hell, Seth can finish you off. All right, now we just gotta wait. There we go. Oh, you're defaulting. What a jerk. Who defaults? Nerds, that's who. Wimps. Dead? Dead. Oh, nice. Seth learns dealer's choice. There we go. Done. Finally done with Gambler. Okay, let's let's see what the actual ability is for Gambler. Um, abilities? Yeah. Uh, born lucky. Increases the number of winning slots and roulette abilities. Abilities with a chance of triggering extra effects will also be more likely to do so. And yep. Okay, well, you're not going to be a gambler anymore. But it was a, it was a fun experiment, Seth. All right. Um. So what do we want to make you now, though? I was kind of thinking of making you a white mage. Honestly. But, um... Eh. We don't have a Berserker. Not that I think I would really want you to... Um, do this. Uh, quick physical attack. Physical attack. Prince all stats ailments. Yeah. Has a full physical attack. Allows regular attacks to target all enemies. Um... Sure. You're a berserker now, Seth. Congratulations. You got your weird, like, armor. Alright, so equipment. We're currently using a mithril staff, which we are not going to continue having you use. Uh, it would be nice to give you the defender, but you'd be overloaded. Let's just give you the Hawkeye. Unless... Hawkeye it is. I think that's the best one we've got right now. You're still using your Gaia shield. Horned Helm is pretty good. Currently wearing a Star Corslet, and I don't have anything better for you. Um, you don't need Magical Attack, that's for damn sure. Hmm. What do we want to put on you? Well, the one Muleta. Physical Defense. Uh, Force Armlets. Leather Gloves. Just give you another iron bangle. Two iron bangles, loads of HP, lots of defense. Yeah. Screw it. There we go. Look at our berserker. Our big, big boy. Chunky, even. Alright, so you're finished off with that. Elvis is almost finished off with Beastmaster, but not quite. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, and boom, 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 boom. Might as well pop these mini ethers if I got them. I don't. I should have just avoided you. Actually, I don't know why I chose to fight you. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, let's see how good this shit is now. So we can one hit the man trap, and let's go ahead and hit this gigante as well. Ow. Oh boy, you counter physical attacks? I didn't know that actually. Whatever. Hey, Melvis. It's probably gonna hurt a little bit, but you'll be fine. Allow me. Okay, you're. Oh, enemies. Boom. 
Boom. Yeah, does that feel better? It's so, it's actually kind of mean and patronizing when she says it like that. Does that feel better? I just, I just hurt you a lot. Alright, so... Savagery. Physical attack on all targets. Fortunately, that costs BP. Which kind of sucks right now. So, mow down is definitely the better big AoE attack. Because this one costs BP. At the moment. But, uh, let's use two of them. And see how much that does. And we go through, right through that default. And we got an underdog bonus. Another step in the right direction. Screaming it out. You're about to max out Bard, which is also cool. Okay, and that was that. God, where the fuck are we even going? I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> My god. This place is just a maze. It is just a maze. It's just a maze, that's it. That's all it is. Okay, um, mow down. There we go. Um... Let's see. Let's do one, two, three. Cure. And cure. There you go. You enjoy that? Does that feel better? Uh, Crescent Moon, Crescent Moon. Looking good, guys. Onwards and upwards. Double damage. And I'll learn mug. Good shit. Alright. So we did that. Alright, so, uh, oh yeah, we probably need to heal up after that last fight. Yeah, you two got this shit knocked out of you pretty hard. Um. That's insane. Gloria, like, never runs out of MP. <laughs> probably because I'm, like, actually getting her to attack or anything. Away. What do we got? Of course. Of course a nasty surprise emerges from the chest. These things, like, live in the chest. Come, it's like a nasty surprise fight. duplex. Apartment complex. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. They're just all living here. Ow. Ow. Um, well, uh, eat a cure. Nope. Oh, wait. Now, uh, you eat a cure. And then just attack that one. There we go. Um, yeah, can you finish him off, Elvis? That'd be just dandy if you could. There we go. Seth learns water damage. Elvis learns off the chain, which means he's maxed Beastmaster. Yes. Cool. We can set Elvis to something new. Academy gown. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, I should also mention... So, I've said I'm gonna make Seth our freelancer. Um, because of, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have him max as many classes as possible. And then the freelancer ability is busted because your stats just go up based off of how many classes you've mastered. So, I'm gonna have him be the only one like that because just having four freelancers at the end of the game is kind of incredibly busted. And I also think it's kind of boring. Because then, I don't know, they all look the same and everything. I don't know, it's boring. I like to have multiple classes. So. I'm going to be having other people on other classes, and Seth is the only person I'm going to have as a freelancer at the end of the game, because that's when he's going to be most busted. So you're done with Beastmaster. I unfortunately don't really have much to put you on. I could make you a gambler. Um, they scale pretty well with uh, magic, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Gambler. You look like a gambler anyway, Elvis. Look at ya. Alright, so, and then Black Mage is your secondary class, and look at, look at your equipment. Let's take that spear off and give you, um, your Rod of Fire, I believe. Yeah, it's better than the Oak Staff. Um, and you're currently rocking a Mithril Shield. Your Oak Staff's being used by her. Okay. Okay, we'll just keep you on your shield for now. You're not overburdened, I don't think, right? Uh, nope, you're good. And we did just get, yeah, Academy Gown, which we already had. And you have the Feather Mantle and the Ice Tiles. And you're wearing a Mortar Board. 
which is whatever. Okay, there's nothing better for you to wear. So cool, there you go. You got a staff of fire. We'll have you toss some fire at this uh, next boss, and hopefully that will go well. And yeah, you're gonna be rocking the gambler class for a hot minute. So die. And plus, you'll probably be a lot better with elemental wheels than Seth was we because you have higher magic guys. attack. So... What are you weak to? Water. Um, let's just mow down with you. That'll probably take care of those. Yep. And, uh, sure, you can throw a blizzard up his ass. And then we have a water elemental attack, which will be very useful. Water damage. Let's do three, just in case. I'm pretty sure this is gonna kill. Yeah, you're vulnerable to water and axes. Elvisone's life or death. There we go. So yay, Berserker Seth and Gambler uh, Elvis. I could have just walked past this guy. I don't know what I'm doing. We've Please ignore me. Hand, guys. Um, well, we know what we're doing with you. Because it doesn't require any MP. It just requires BP. There we go. And, yeah, just block. You too. Okay. And, not that. Let's do Crescent Moon. There we go. And just bop him a bunch. Flash the cash. I thought it was a good idea to put Seth on Gambler just because I don't really have a good class other than Gambler for Seth to be using right now. I could just put him... I mean, Seth. Um, Elvis. I could just put him back on uh, Black Mage, but I don't want to waste the uh, JP I would be getting from the boss fight, so... Die. Oh, I didn't even realize he was covering another chest. If I'd ran away from him, I probably would have missed that. Okay, so Sky Slicer. And Sky Slicer. And... Let's see, what is he weak to? Remember what you're weak to. Let's hit you with the Blazara and call it a day. There we go, that's a thousand damage. Fall. Alright. And we're gonna get you to Crescent Moon some fools. I didn't finish them, unfortunately. But that'll finish you. And then... Can you finish it? No. Ow, and I just made you take a bunch of damage for no reason. Alright, whatever. Now you're dead. Yeah, I just realized I, I remembered mentioning um, that Gloria never seems to run out of MP. It, this, she has the ability where she gets MP back from the daytime. Does she have like another ability where she just restores MP, basically? Better than ever. User's healed, yeah. Solar powered. No, it's just solar powered. Huh, that must be what's keeping her going. She's also just not using her MP as much as everyone else. I'll drop one of those on you. Alright, and what was this? Devil's Delights. Okay, and we got a... What was it, a Courage Ring? What does that do? Probably makes it so you're not affected by Dread? Yeah. An MP plus 50. Oh well, yeah, we got two of those. Um, you have the Peace Ring on. Berserk and Confusion Immunity. Extra Restorative Power. Let's give you this. That's better for you, I believe. Although you do lose some HP... Eh, we'll keep you on that. I like the extra HP. Damn it. These stupid golems, man. <sighs> Alright, no, not that. Um, Sky Slicer. Keep big damage. Um, you're also weak to, uh, magic. Uh, particularly ice magic. We'll see. We need to waste that. Um, and enemies, let's drop a cure on, two cures on you, and two cures on you. I probably could have cure Rudd, actually. Oh, you guys are, um, defaulting? That's really adorable. It would be a shame if I just 
completely trivialize that game mechanic. Bloody minded. All right, what's bloody minded do? Huh? Uh, jobs. Berserker. Physical attacks performed by the user cannot be evaded, but will also damage them. Eh. I mean, it's... It's good, don't get me wrong. But the question is, do I do I really want that? Because I'm not going to be attacking with you that much, right? And I feel like I'd rather have... What does this one do? Forming an attack with a weapon equipped will cause all damage to the user to reduce by 70% until their next turn. Okay, that's pretty fucking good. Never mind. Of course, I'm usually enraging people. I'm not, like, attacking them. Would you please go away? How are you guys still interested in fighting me? It's amazing. Oh my god, this place is a fucking maze and a half. Who, did, who made the floor plan for this place? I want to talk to them. Yes, you heard it here first. Quasi wants to talk to the manager. For this atrocious floor plan. Like, what the hell is this thing? Hey, go away. Okay, good. You just run in a straight line because you're a stupid idiot. Mirage Vest. That sounds like it increases your evasion, which makes it sound like it'll go on you. Um, yep. Increases evasion. A unique garment woven from a strange and mysterious fabric. Uh, when equipped, light resistance plus one. Weight plus ten. Physical defense plus thirty-seven. Magical defense plus forty. Evasion plus eight. Huh. It actually sounds like they're mowing outside. This might have to be a shortened episode if uh, that mowing gets too loud. Damn it. It actually does sound like they're getting pretty fucking close. Uh -oh. Luckily, it's been winter when mostly when I've been recording this, so I haven't really had to worry about um, the mowers. As I like to call it, the mower nation attacking. But uh, now we actually got to worry about that. Oh, uh, let's not do that. Eh, just default. And you also default. You, though... Hit him with the mow down. Ow. Aha, you missed. Ow. Um... Well, this is a quandary. Okay, but... Let's just Phoenix down you. And then let's double damage you. That was double damage. Whack him. Ow. Yep, that was uh, a bad idea. No, not that. Uh, just Phoenix down him. We have 61 of the bad boys. I actually don't even think I want that many defaults. We just gotta wait for someone who actually does damage turn to come around again. 306. Uh, eat shit. Thank you. <laughs> Elvis earns more money. Well, unfortunately, we don't really need more money. Okay, cool. It sounds like the lawnmowers left. I don't know what that was. Maybe they were blowing leaves and not actually mowing. But it is going to be time for the lawnmower nation to come back soon. So I've got to be wary of that, because they love to interrupt my recordings. Because they're like, we're going to mow the lawn at like 8 or 10 a.m. And I'm like, that that's not ideal. I mean, I appreciate you mowing my lawn, don't get me wrong. I just wish it was, you know, at a better time. Okay, we're here. And we can use this save point, which means we can use a tent. Which means we're probably about to hop into a boss fight with an asterisk bearer, which is probably the red mage boy. Which means we're probably going to be unlocking a class for, uh... Elvis. You know what would be just dandy, and I would love it? Is if, um... Elvis got the, um... Whatchamacallit proc. The, uh... Lancer proc. During this boss fight, and just maxed out Lancer, or, or Gambler, like, right now. Why'd I say Lancer? I don't know, man. My brain's all over the damn place. Alright. So, yeah. It's gotta be up here, right? There's also one of the treasure chests we were missing. A teleport stone. Thank you. 
Oh, B and D. Roddy's a good man. He cares about his fellow researchers. I'm just an apprentice, but he's still kind and courteous to me. He's not too formal, though, especially not when he talks about his friend Elvis. Aye, to say he's fond of that one would be an understatement. Okay, we we temporarily the in oncoming boss fight will be back after these B and D messages. The best thing about B&D is that anyone can play it. Young or old, rich or poor, it's a game for everyone. Yeah, you usually can't play card games too much if you're poor because card games are expensive. Alright, edit decks. There's no special rules on this one, so I think I'm going to put my black mage back in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's the lawnmowers again, everyone. Oh no. Uh, monster cards? No, that's not what I wanted. No, get out of here. All cards. Yep, the lawnmowers are back. B&D might be the final thing we do in this episode, and I might have to cliffhang it on the boss fight. Which I'm gonna feel awful about, but I also don't want obnoxious lawnmower sounds in the video. We'll see. They're kind of far away right now, so you can't really hear them, but if they just pull up to my house, you're gonna hear like... A battle commence. You play first. Well, thank you. So, I'm gonna put my black mage down first. Uh, go ahead and put you right here. There we go. Good, good. You stay away, lawnmowers. I'm playing B&D, leave me alone. Ooh, hello. Opportunity. And that gets me two over there, and also gets me the two that Horton wants. Power move. What you got, huh? Bernard, effect, co-op card. Switch to the target of the effect of your opponent's next card from yourself to your opponent or vice versa. If the card does not have a targeted effect, its base square becomes yours. Well, that's annoying. Um... Well, what if I just do this instead? There you go. Haha. -ha. Nerd. That one's not as good an effect as it seems. It's actually a pretty shitty effect. Okay, let's do... Let's see, what do I want to put you? If I put you right here, I can steal that. If I do that... You know what, I'm gonna get a space if I neutralize anyway, so... I'm gonna put you right here and neutralize that, which gives me a space because of the Black Mage anyway. Which also gives me that. And now we got Monk down in case they apply to try to play any, uh, character card shenanigans. Berserker. Effect reinforced. Once placed, triggered when opponent occupies more than 10 squares. Strengthen your job cards. Well, unfortunately you only got one of those, friendo. Um, not a really good spot to put either of these. Put it right there. I've got a lot of cards. I, I don't like that Berserker card because it's basically only useful if you're losing. Oh no. Okay, well that was a that was a power move. Um, can't place you right there. Yeah, I just don't have a good spot to put this card, unfortunately. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. I neutralize two squares. But I only gain one square. Let's see. Goodbye. So can you get five squares in one turn? We tied. Damn it. Alright, you little shit. Let's go again. You managed to pull that out of your ass, somehow. I still once again see I could- I, I wish I could actually see... Like, it showed what card they played. Like, when they play it? I wish that was something that happened. Cause like, I can go to the board and yeah, I can't view the details. So I can't see what card they have and I can't be like, Ooh, I want that card. That looks like a good card. Just unfortunate. Alright, please don't destroy my white mage- I mean, my black mage. Okay, Bernard. Um, I'm gonna hit you with one of these. Roddy. Opponent cannot see this card's token. Monster cards placed by opponent are weakened. Oh, that sucks. Oh god, you're gonna you're gonna win this time, aren't you? 
Oh, you're gonna win this time hard. There you go. Screw your stupid effect. Okay, we still got... We've still got you. So let's go ahead and place you down. Uh... No, that wouldn't work. I'm trying to think of this, because then I'll get these those uh, two there diagonally as well. Boom. Black Mage, Territorial Gain. And we get those two as well, which also gets us that. God, that's such a powerful combo. Okay. Berserker. Yep, reinforce your stupid cards. Um, I could do this, that would get rid of that. Or I could do this. Let's do this. Boom. And that gets me a Black Mage Square. Yes. No way you pull this out your ass. No way you pull this out your ass. Um, I don't really have a good space to put this. So, there you go. Cool, you lose. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and you got Bernard, Roddy, Berserker. Wow, you got a lot of shit. I'll take Bernard first, it's... Yeah, that's just, I don't think that's a very good ability because you, how are you supposed to know if they're gonna place a um, character card? And it's only useful if they place a character card. So, let's rematch you again. We're probably gonna have to play you quite a few times. Uh-oh. God, those, those lawnmowers are close, everyone. Lawnmower Nation, they're coming. Okay, uh... Yep, you're gonna play Bernard. Oh, that sucks. So, I have to play this to get rid of that Bernard effect. Thank you. And then I'll be able to place my Black Mage. Okay. Black Mage, ahoy. Okay, and there's a pretty good group of squares I can get. Yeah, right there. Gimme, gimme. Horton, here's a win. Boom. Horton. There we go. Ha ha. That's fine. So let's pop this. Okay, you weaken that, but that's fine, because I'm gonna get that square anyway, nerd! Like I said, Roddy's fairly good. His effect's useful, at least. Um, yeah, that seems good. And then that also neutralizes that space. He still has a chance to come back, though. Unless he plays a shitty card like that. Okay, never mind. Okay, where do I want to put you? I'll put you right there. I'll neutralize and get another square, and I'll also get that one. If I do it here, I'll get two, though. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, three, actually. I didn't, I, I didn't even notice that one. 17 to three, nerd. Get fucked. Oh, we're, oh, we just hit the new rank. You earn enough points to increase your rank, but you'll need to fulfill some other conditions first. Looks like you have enough points to advance to rank A, but you're still unable to do so. Try progressing through the story a little more... first. Gloria of Musa, at your service. Okay. Um... Boom, give me Veronica. I'm coming for your ass, Roddy. Alright, I think I'll show one more against this person, and then I'll start cutting him out as I grind up enough points to actually get this card. Okay, yep, I'm still fine with this deck. The Horton and Black Mage combo is just too powerful. I'm totally down for swapping out, like, Monk and stuff, but Horton is... Horton and Black Mage are just super busted together. Okay, yeah, that's Bernard. Um, what do we want to do to get rid of you? Let's do this. Goodbye, which also gets me the Black Mage Square. Ha ha. Mm 
Okay, that looks like it might be that one that one square. So let's go ahead and place that. Yep, it's rowdy. Okay, that's fine. And uh-huh. Is that so? Later. Get rid of that and give me that. And then Horton. Boom. Okay, now what, huh? What's she gonna do? Vanguard. Strengthen those two spaces. That's fine. I'm gonna take these. Thank you kindly. Ass kicked. Is your ass kicked? Oh yeah, your ass is kicked. Say goodbye to your ass. Oh, I could have played it above and actually stolen that space. Oh well, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm fairly sure I've won, so yeah. Could have got some more points out of it, but oh well. All right. Wow, those those lawnmowers are close. <laughs> I hate to keep bringing up the lawnmowers, but it does have me worried. So now I'm just going to play until I get enough to grab Roddy. Wow, you got destroyed that time, friend. Holy shit. Earn enough points. Yep, need to fulfill other conditions. I know. And one more fight should get me to Roddy, assuming I do okay. Alright, is that enough? 18 to 4. I think I needed 20 points. Yeah, I got 30. Yes, that is my Roddy. Wait, I don't... Oh, wait, I don't have Baphomet either. Shit, I gotta play even more. I didn't even see Baphomet hanging out down there. Baphomet's a pretty damn good card, too. Holy shit. Alright, take the selected cards, and now I'm gonna grab me a Baphomet. Alright, I think that may be enough. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a Baphomet. That's a pretty damn good card, too, I gotta say. On all your opponent's cards, you can now do extra rules against them. You battle again? Uh, nah. I think we're good now. Alright, it seems like the mowers have stopped. So, I'm gonna risk it, and we're gonna go to that boss fight. If the mowers start or something, uh, while we're in the middle of the boss fight, I can always just be like, eh, okay, we're not showing the boss fight yet. But, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and hit up a save here. And let's go see what this boss fight's all about, why don't we? The recording's showing 51 minutes, but I did cut a fair bit out for B&D, so... We'll see how it goes. We shall see how it goes. Alright, guys. I've murdered a person in B&D, got a couple of very good cards out of it. Alright. Anything hide in here? I'm still missing one treasure chest, mind you. I would like to know where this treasure chest is at. Must have missed it somewhere. Unless it's down here. Uh, that's not creepy at all. Hey, what sort of shit are you up to, Roddy? Huh? What the hell is with that thing? It looks like some sort of tortured soul. Oh god, you got some weird shit going on. Mona. Oh, Mona. It's nearly ready, wee one. Just a little longer and we can be together again. Oh god, are you trying to revive your dead daughter? Oh no, this is uh... This is some uh, some rough shit. Don't try to bring people to life. Number one rule, Fullmetal Alchemist taught us all this rule. I just need it to be a wee bit bluer. A wee bit brighter. Then you can come back to me at last. Roddy, what were you... Uh, are you trying to bring Mona back from the dead? Oh no, we have another asterisk that I'm actually going to feel sorry for. Bluer, brighter, come back to us, darling, come back to life! You're so close, my dear. Oh god. What is that? Don't, don't do that. Bluer, brighter, like the sky, bring me back, da. Mona! I'm here, darling, I can hear you. Oh, Mona. It's coming from that painting. I want to be back home with you, Dad. Just like before. Well, that kind of broke the tension when boss music kicked in. 
I know, Ed. I know. And once I've got rid of this lot, I'll get right back to making it happen. Alright, well, that was abrupt. She was like, I want to be back home with you, Dad, and then the boss music kicks in, and I'm like, okay, I guess we're Why doing this. Why are you doing this? Why are you stopping me from bringing my daughter back? It's alright, Mona. Just wait a wee while longer. I actually didn't even mention that I wanted to stop you yet, I don't think. <laughs> He's kind of assumed. Daddy will be finished here in just a minute. Here I don't watch me murder these people. Uh, Picto Beleth. Um, well, steal courage, uh, let's, let's sky slicer you, zero damage, of course you absorbed it, um, well, let's go ahead and do reduce magical damage, because I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna do magic, right? Um, let's see here, I'm gonna have you use a magnifying glass on this, first of all. Okay, you're weak to lightning. Uh, I'm gonna need you guys to attack me. Or actually, I should just- maybe I should just focus on killing this damn thing. Okay, it's weak to light, and... that. Let's hit him with the Neo Cross Slash. Immune to axes? Wow, that would've been great to know before I used my fucking axe attack. Thank you. Whatever. Um... Let's Thundara you. Wait, what was that that we have? Yeah, nice. Yeah, okay, magic damage shaking. Um, so we can't do that on this jerk. Adele, you just default. Um, I would appreciate if you cast Kira on Elvis. Okay, that was a lot of damage, actually. Uh... Off the chain, send a captured mar uh, monster to brutally savage a target. And what do we have uh, for off the leash? Encourage. Might be nice. On ice. Thundara. Eat shit. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay, yeah, revive Gloria, please. We need her alive. She doesn't have the buff anymore, unfortunately. It actually seems like you guys are using physical attacks more than magic, which I really didn't expect. Okay, you just tried to silence me. Okay, and you were immune to axes, so axes just aren't going to work on that stupid asshole. So... Um... Enrage you. Attack me, please. And have we examined Roddy? We have not. But I need Elvis to default so he doesn't die. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and drop this magnifying glass on Roddy. Ow. Oh no, Seth's asleep and silenced. That's not good. Um, we really need to take this stupid thing out. I want to see something. Do you take damage? Nope, you're immune to daggers, because of fucking course you are. Look. Wow, what a useful screen. What a useful screen we got right here. Doesn't tell me that it's immune to fucking all weapons, apparently. <laughs> How fantastic. Ugh. Um... Let's do a Cura on everyone. Another Cura... ...on everyone. There we go. Hmm, flash the cash, been... ...a bunch of money. To do a bunch of damage. <laughs> Fuck you. Eat shit. Not immune to money, are you? Nobody's immune to capitalism, damn it. Alright, um... So, what else do I want to do here? Let's see... So, what is Roddy weak to? Fire? Mm. I don't have a lot of options for that. Let's, um... Heals the user... Reduces a target MP in his target's MP. It might be useful, but he might have like crazy ridiculous MP. I'm, I don't really know what his max MP is, and there's no way for me to know when I'll actually make him run out. Oh no, default, because he has three attacks. Okay, well that hurt. 
There we go. Um, whose turns? You. Um, off the leash. What do we got? Aurora on ice. No. I mean, I could attack you, but you're weak to spears and bows mostly. Oh yeah, let's try to steal from you. Oops. Nothing to steal. Okay, so bosses just don't have anything to steal, so... Steal is significantly less useful in this one, then. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna need you to attack me. Ow? Wait, what did that? He just... I think he just did a counter. Oh my god, the set stopped. Uh, that's not good. Let's do three. Let's do three. I think that'll be a bit better. Um, well, let's steal breath from you. Only 181. That was not worth it at all. Um, do you have a life or death? Spin the wheel to revive unconscious allies and restore their HP. The amount of HP restored depends on the result of the wheel, but stopping on the skull will be either. That might be useful for reviving, actually, if it ever gets around to your turn. Whenever it gets around to your turn. Um, let's high potion Gloria. That was good. Glad I did that. Okay, you're silenced, Gloria. I need your turn to come like yesterday. Mm. There's just not a lot I can do with you. That's gonna do a good amount of damage. Let's attack twice, I guess. Actually, let's use Sky Slicer for the second one. How much damage does that do? Half damage from wind, damn it. Okay, so. Okay, let's Cura once, Cura twice, and then let's use a Remedy on um, Seth. Does that feel better? Sorry to be a pain. Perhaps this might help. Oh, it only cures one? Shit. I didn't know it only cure one. Animator, paralysis. Fuck. I need you back up. Oh, we can't. Oh, shit. We can't heal. That's why. You can't heal that. Oh, damn. We need that. We need that stupid thing dead, and we also need. Seth to be moving again. Uh, oh, I should have just used life or death there. Oh well. Let's slash the cash. It's like the best thing we have to actually kill this stupid piece of shit. Heal Aura? Oh my god, fuck you. Fuck off. Can you not? Don't we have something that white wins us? On ice, thrash, shit. I didn't get another one of the white wind things. Um, well, let's use one of our high potions. It's about all we can do. Oh boy, this is rough. Okay, Gloria, I really need you to get your fucking turn. <laughs> oh my god. How much HP does that piece of shit have? Eh, fuck it. Money, 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 money. I need you dead. Oh, god damn it, you're defaulting. Whatever. Whatever, that was a mistake, but it's still really low on HP now. Um, Kura. We just really got fucked when Seth got slowed and stopped at the same time. Like, that was nasty. Oh, great, now you're paralyzed. Okay, well, your turn's not going to come around much, so let's just focus on enraging with you. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see, you're weak to... Zeus's Wrath. Pantheon's Wrath. Um, eat... Shit! Fuck off. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while, Mona. I'm sorry to break it to you. Yeah, hit me with stone again, you idiot. Holy shit! How many turns are you gonna get? Fuck. Um. Well, we gotta revive Seth. I mean, Seth. Fucking fucking Elvis. God damn it. 
keep getting them mixed up. Um, okay, we got a high potion. Let's just drop that on you. Would you stop putting Seth to sleep, you pile of shit? Oh my fucking god. You with your annoying ass status effects. Ah, um, there you go. Aurora! Mm, god. God. I'm sorry, Mono. You're not gonna have a dad after this because he's annoying as shit. <laughs> Dad's gonna go away for a while. Um. You're defaulting. There's no point. You, though. Fucking Curasol. I should have done two. Um. It's just the fault with you. He's about to attack a bunch. That's whatever. Oh yeah, and someone told me um, he doesn't... Elvis does not mention pissing himself there. I, I just heard it actually super clearly this time. He said, good thing I braced myself. I wish Steel Spirit would actually be useful, but I'm fairly sure it's not going to be. Up bell. Cure a single target of sleep. God, I wish I could cure multiple targets of sleep. Wake up, please. Um, okay, you got enough to... Let's see if we can get some poison down on your ass. This might be a bit dangerous, but... Counter when status ailment inflicted. Great! But I didn't inflict a fucking status ailment, so why did that... Did it say status ailment try to be inflicted? That may have been it. <laughs> it said counter when status element inflicted, so I was like, wait, I didn't inflict a fucking status element. <laughs> Alright, I think we can fast forward again now. We're a bit better off now. Okay, um... Yeah, we can actually get you to attack again, I guess, but you're just not doing much damage, is the problem. That's the main issue here. Okay, how much, how much MP do we actually steal with this? 16. That's not going to be very useful at all. Oh, great. Now I can't heal. Default. Um, default. Okay, well, everyone's awake again, at least. Except for fucking Seth. He's over there taking a goddamn 10-year-long nap. Hey, stupid fuck. Wake up. <laughs> God. Um, okay, we don't have to worry about that. What are you weak to? Fire. For Berserk. Double damage. Uh, no. Let's just use Heroics. I think that would be better. Sword of Stone. Uh, let's just use this. Twice. Not enough MP. Ah, oh, fuck. That thing costs a lot. Okay. Um, well, Flash the Cash wouldn't be useful to use here. Let's just block. Okay, yeah, that hurt. I'll be the first to admit that hurt a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead and just steal a bunch of life from them. There we go. Now you're full health again. Um, hi. Uh, you have taken away my ability to use black magic, but would you like to die to capitalism? Eat shit. Okay, default. Default. Um, yep. Steal that breath. Full HP again. Uh, alright, so... I can't flash the cash. Uh, I'm guessing I'm out of peak. So, um... Winning this boss fight like that cost me. But whatever, I don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Echo Herb on you. So you can cast some magic next time. Give me that HP. Alright, we're silenced, but that is fine. What are you weak to? Fire. We got enough for some Pyragas. Oh my god. Um... Life or death? Oh, a fucking course. A fucking course. I took the goddamn risk, and look what happened. This is why you don't fucking gamble, kids. Of course, ten fucking... Actually, eleven fucking spots on that goddamn wheel, and it's like, nope, death. 
Fucking gambling sucks ass. Fuck gambling. Fucking stupid ass gambling. Is this my save? Is this my most recent save? That's 2214. That's 2214. Okay, yeah. This, this is the best one. Fucking gambling. Stupid pile of shit gambling. I, I knew I was gonna use that, and with my luck, when I used it, I was going to immediately die. And guess fucking what? That's exactly what happened. Did it remember me beating- I, I think it remembered me beating the B&D person. Hopefully. Oh god, you stupid sack of shit. Um, hmm. Let's see, I wanted to keep Elvis on Gambler, but I'm kind of thinking now maybe we should just switch him to Black Mage for this fight. Um, what were your abilities if you're a Black Mage? God damn it. Let's, okay. Okay, this will make your magic attack higher as well, so... Black Mage. Okay, and let's go see what your little ability you get with Black Mage is. No, not that. Rinse all attack spells from being nullified or absorbed. Will not bypass damage having or reflect effects. Attack spells from being nullified or absorbed. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. I think it also makes your stats way higher. And you got... What other passives do we have that we could put on here? Oh yeah, I forgot I had fucking MP saver. I never put that on. Okay, um... Let's see, what, is, do you, what do you do? Sense of magic evasion and luck are increased, and 4% of MP is restored each turn. Uh, no, MP saver is better. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put MP saver on. Okay, and you're overloaded now, Elvis. So, we have you with the Rod of Fire. Which should make you a lot better off. Confusion and charm immunity. Do we have anything? Let's see. Yeah, you're mostly just going to be really overburdened. That's what I want on you. Immune to silence. Of course, being immune to sleep would also be very useful here. Okay, let's give you that. That lowers your weight and increases your evasion. Magical attack plus six. We might have to take that off to get something else. Paralysis immunity would be useful. Dread sleep. That's what I need to put on Seth. Or quite frankly, most of my team. You know what? Um, you got the white veil. Seth, we're going to take that off of you and put on a clothespin. And... What about you? Physical attack, wind talisman, wind resistance plus one. I like that on you, that is very useful. I like the power bracers on you as well. Of course, you weren't super useful in this fight, damage-wise, so I at least want you to be able to stay awake. So, oh, I run out of close pins though. Blindness immunity, poison immunity. Um, hmm. You know what, let's just give you two wind talismans to make you extra safe against uh that bullshit um and before i continue actually this is gonna be another long episode damn it um i'm gonna go back to town and hit up the shop because we switched around our classes a lot so i think i can make uh, everyone a lot more effective if i go get them some new equipment so let's go take care of that really quickly all right here we are shop so um, we could get two Oracle Daggers for you. Purchase and equip on... Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll handle that in a second. So... Yeah, that would... You're B with those, you're A with Oracle Daggers. Hawkeye is the best axe we can possibly get for you right now. We could change you from Oak Staff to Bow. But it would overload you. It would also lower your defense, which I'm not about. And getting a rune staff with, for you. Okay, but what have we got shield-wise? So you've got the best shield for right now. Turban, feather hats, adamant hats. There's the silence immunity. Horned Helm, Mana Robe, Cavity Gown, Just a Corpse, Star Corslet, Mithril Armor, and Splint Mail. Yeah. This. 
this right here. What I mean, do you need? Purchase and equip on you. There we go. And we got mittens. Keep our hands warm. Mithril gloves. For the mental flame talisman, ice talisman, wind talismans. Earth talismans. Star pendant, clothes pendant, earthing rod. Okay. And buy another clothes pin. Okay. I think I'm going to be a bit more prepared this time. So let's go ahead and see what all we can get on everyone here. So you have the splint mail, you have the clothespin. You have a peace ring. Which I'm honestly going to keep on you just because it gives you extra HP and that's very useful. Um, I'm going to take this off and give you the... We're going to give you the Staff of Life again. Because that gives you extra restoration power and quite frankly I want the other staff on you. So you'll be overloaded if I equip two though, damn it. We're gonna have to take some shit off. It's not honestly not even useful to put an extra staff on you unless it was another fire staff. Which I forgot. I wasn't even casting fire that much, was I? I completely forgot about that. Um we might have to take the shield off. So, boom. I think that also lowers your... No. So, are we not overloaded anymore? Okay, cool. We're not overloaded anymore. Good. They're no longer overloaded. Wait, I have the oak staff on you? No, rod of fire. Oh, the rod of fire makes me overloaded because it's so damn heavy. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, let's just hit you with the Oak Staff, then. Yeah. So you're good now. We'll have to wait a little bit before we can use that uh, Rod of Fire, because it just wastes so damn much. Okay, you have more HP now to Elvis. Adele, uh, yeah, I wanted to see if I could double you up on daggers yeah I would increase your damage a little bit and your crit chance yeah let's just double you up on oracle daggers okay cool now I will head back and we will give this another shot all right we're back and hopefully this goes a little bit better now we're at least, a lot of us are at least immune to sleep, which was very obnoxious to deal with. And I have Seth's, uh, or Elvis's secondary abilities set to, um, Gambler. So if I need to, I can just throw money at the jackass to kill him. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I at least know what their immunities are this time, so it's gonna Morna. be a little bit easier to deal with them. Morna. Oh, shut up. I'm past the point of feeling sorry for you at the current moment. Once I kick this? your ass, once I kick your ass, I'll probably feel sorry for you again. What's the plan? Oh, great. And then, great. He's immediately fucking paralyzed. Oh, man. Get it. Okay, at least we have our fucking special this time. Strike all enemies with powerful physical attack. Let's go. Is this even going to work? Because that jackass is immune to axes. Yeah, that was pretty good damage. Holy oh, shit. Okay, and we learned last time it was lightning, I believe, that this thing is uh, weak to. So let's go ahead and hit you with a Thundaga. Eat shit. Okay, so you. Uh, don't let him get to you. And they were immune to daggers, right? And wind damage, I think. That thing. So... You know what? I'll try it. Immune to daggers, immune to daggers. I couldn't really quite remember. Okay... Elvis is asleep. Which is not ideal. So we're gonna go ahead and wake you up. Ah, uh, this is noxious. Just being able to put everyone to sleep like that. Eat... Shit. Okay, and... Step into the light. Send the targets to sleep. 
Um, hurt so bad, work your magic. Powerful non-elemental attack on multiple targets. You know what? I wanna try it. How much does this do? Very well. Here I go. Extremely powerful, it says. <clears throat> I would like to point out that it said that attack was extremely powerful. Extremely powerful, everyone. All right, I'm guessing it's actually based off your physical attack. What the fuck? I thought I closed pinned all of you guys up. I, I know I got three of them. I guess I only have it on two people though. Fucking hell. Ugh. Well, we need Gloria awake because we need people to heal us. Um. Well, I, this is going to sound mean, Elvis, but right now I don't particularly care if you're going to die or not. Um, so we're going to cast... Actually, the only person that really needs it is you. Let's do that, and then let's hit you with an animator. Oh my god, I did too fucking many... I wish you could, like, negate a brave from that menu instead of having to redo it all. Maybe you can, and I'm just missing it. Uh, boom. Boom. Okay, um, Elvis, quite frankly, I just need you to fucking murder the- all their goddamn defaulting. They got their fucking arms in front of their face, so they don't- they don't have to care about thunder anymore. Okay, what should we even do? Level damage, event fury, let's... Enrage you. Yeah, I'm glad you hit me with that stun. Oh my god, with the fucking stun smash again! Can we kill this stupid cunt? Why do you even have this thing with you? This this thing wasn't explained at all, it's just here. It exists. Picto fucking Bileth. And I can't believe Byleth from fucking Fire Emblem is doing this to me. Um... This is looking rough again. We gotta keep Gloria alive. Too bad she's slow and doesn't get her turns fast enough. <sighs> God damn it, at this point I should just fucking make Adele like a healer. Fuck hell. Heal. Heal. Oh, and Seth stopped. Yeah, forgot about that part and. Oh god. So obnoxious. You know what? Elvis. Fuck this stupid cunt. No, no, no. Not Thundara. I want this goddamn thing fried into oblivion. Oh my god, I forgot. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. I'm, I'm just getting tilted. I'm just getting tilted now. This isn't good. This brave, you're a fucking healer right now. How dare you heal Lara, that stupid cunt. Fun fucking Daga. Four times, I don't give a shit. Just die. My god, please just die. Um, High Potion Gloria. Okay, asleep again. Asleep a fucking again. I don't know how the fuck you fall asleep when there's goddamn lightning strikes falling from the sky, but whatever. God. It's tilting me. It's tilting me. Um... Is there something I had that I could damage you with? We just need to revive... you. I can't hit you guys because I would do too much fucking damage. They just got hit by magic and just didn't even wake up. Oh my god. Uh... Phoenix down... and... It's, it's like, like, Roddy's annoying, but it's mostly just his little fucking weirdo pet over here. That's the goddamn problem. Um... Rage? You have 2dp. I'm enraging you. Um... We're gonna need to pop two. There. Thank you. Um, you know what? Let's do what we did last time. Zeus's Wrath, Pantheon's Wrath. Oh, you're 
fucking defaulting because of course you are and now blar blar i'm going to i'm going to inflict you with a ton of fucking status effects that you can't possibly guard against all of them God, I want this stupid cunt to die in the worst possible way possible. Not Roddy, just this stupid little weird widow fucking demon that's just here for no goddamn reason. I want it to die a horrible, horrible death. It's the fault, there's nothing better for us to do. You just die again because of fucking course you do. And I'm gonna have to revive you. Don't I have a rise? I do. Get the fuck back up, Elvis. Okay. How much goddamn HP does this stupid thing have? It's still alive. You have 3 VP. Please attack me. Thank you. Thank you. That was perfect, actually. You did your job incredibly well, Seth. Oh, get back up. Um, and yup. Die. Oh god, I don't have enough MP because of course I don't. <sighs> this stupid, this stupid thing. It's always the ads in the boss fight that are the fucking problem. It's never actually the boss themselves. It's the ads. Jesus Christ, there we go. I hope you can make him regret hurting your friends. It would be very nice if you could. Okay, singing. Wait, didn't I have... Didn't I put a white veil on Elvis, or did I take it back off? Or did I never put it back on? I thought I had a white veil on him. I'm willing to bet that might just be me making a mistake. So, whatever. Uh, silence. That's fine. Um, now, uh, so stealing your fucking spirit did not help last time at all. Not even a little bit. And there's no point in doing anything else. I think I'm still just gonna have you be our person that's kind of healing everyone up. Unfortunately, we don't have any high potions because I still don't think we can buy those yet. Um, attack me. Haha. Uh -huh. No damage, jerk. Um, let's see, there's not much for you to do. Oh yeah, didn't we have a... We do a Thundara. You know what? I need to remind myself what you're actually weak against, so let's hit a magnifying glass. No, let's not do that. Let's just magnifying glass. Fire. Okay, well, you're defaulting right now, so. Nothing to do there. There we go. That is fine. I'm immune to sleep, dumbass, because I got a clothespin. Okay, so you're weak to fire. Did I have anything in off the leash that was fire? Not really. Vishnu can thrash though. Okay, that's all of our attack up, right? By how much, I wonder? 15%. So nothing too crazy. Um. Let's go ahead and drop a wake up bell on you. And then let's off the leash. What do we want? Let's thrash you. Let's see what that does. That was all right, I guess. Um, enrage. And you're silenced, so you can't really do anything. Just default. And yep, twice. All right, I think we may have it this time. Maybe. Um, what else do we got on here? On ice? I don't know what the fuck Lethal Leap does. I think he takes half damage from wind, too, so there's no point in using that. Staggering swipe. Significantly delay their next action. Let's just give him some of those. Well, that didn't significantly delay his next action at all. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. That, that was his reaction, I think. It said nuisance, so... Oh. Still silenced, yeah. Um, Echo herbs. That's fine. Okay, and you're weak to fire. 
Um, I also still want to try and poison you. That would help out a lot, I think. God damn, you know what would be really fucking useful? Bravely default devs here. I'm gonna hit- I'm gonna let you in on a little development secret. Letting people know, like giving clear indication if an enemy is immune to a status or not. <laughs> because god damn is it hard for me to tell. God is it so hard for me to tell. I just wish when I examined them it told me all of their immunities and everything, but it doesn't. And it sucks. It sucks so much. I just want information, and you refuse to give it to me. Alright, fucking Faraga. Eat shit. Wait, did you just counter a magical attack by healing yourself for 2,000 fucking health? Because boy is that fair. Boy is that fair. That's super fair. It's like, oh, you just did 900 damage to me by striking my weakness? Okay, well, I just healed up 2,000. Eat shit, I guess. Ugh. I keep healing. Not much else I can do right now, and now we're slowed again. Because of course we are. Um, I mean, I could steal a BP from you, but I don't really see much point in doing so. Let's just attack you. It'll do a little bit of damage. Haha. Yeah, that wind resistance is saving my ass right now. That was a good get. That was a very good get. Um, well, you're out of, uh, shit, so... Yeah, you eat shit. Let's hit you with a fucking gill toss. Rage. Um, we don't really need to heal up right now, so I think I'm gonna... Basuna, you. Right. Let's see. Uh, hey, more money. You like you like cash? Yeah, cash. Yeah, I'm probably wasting a lot of my money, but frankly, I just want this fight to be over. There we go. Um, let's see. I can just attack you a few times again. It does okay damage. We're not gonna do that again. It's just costing too much money. Just the fault. Get some of your MP back, I guess. Alright, Seth, you're not really useful right now, so... Let's once again enrage you. And let's just have Adele... 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 Adele wail on you. Here we go. I should have just defaulted. Let's steal some of that spirit, why don't we? It doesn't tell me they're max MP, does it? Of course not. I wonder if there's like a better exam and you can get at any point that it gives you like more useful information. Let's keep doing that. Oh great, now Gloria stopped, which is not good because I don't believe I have a way to fix that. I think it can only be fixed by a magic spell. So, that might be death, everyone. That might just be death. I suppose we could default until she's back up, but like, it's only healed by time and a spell, and you cast stop on my only fucking character that can do anything about that. Um. Nope, you're too healthy for that. Okay, there we go. Haha, uh -huh, idiot. Um, whose turn's next? Nobody, because everybody's asleep. How fucking fantastic! Oh my god. <laughs> this boss fight is obnoxious because he just throws every single fucking thing at you. Possible. He just throws everything. Um, Steel Spirit. Fuck it. Does the boss just have infinite MP? Let's find out, everyone. Is the boss fight fair? Let's see. 
Let's find out if the boss fight's fair, or if it's going to cheat for the boss. Um, could double damage you, but let's just heroic. Well, you just cast an AOE spell anyway. Gotta run out of MP eventually, right? Or is the game weighed against me? Oh no, there's a fucking lawnmower right outside because I've been recording so long now. Fucking great. Um... You know what? I need this boss fight to be over. Okay, we don't have to, we don't have to brave three times. Uh, four times. Let's brave three times. Mona! Oh, Mona! Shut the fuck up. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Mona. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, God, please shut up. Yeah! Uh. I mean, we'll keep doing it. I don't really think it's doing anything, but. Disaster? What the fuck was that? Okay, well, he's inflicted with, like, everything under the sun now. Uh, cures a target of blindness, silence, sleep. Wait, there's nothing that cures? Stop! I thought there was. Shit. Okay, well. Kill everybody up, I guess, Gloria. Um, we're out of money. We can't do Flash the Cash anymore. He has 4,000 HP left. Oh, just ether yourself, Elvis. Use two of them, in fact. Okay, uh, don't let him trick you. Alright, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I'm silenced, because of course I am. God, Roddy. I fucking hate you. Like, I have to feel sorry for you because the game has set it up so that I have to feel sorry for you. God damn, do I hate you. Um... There's not really... Just ether yourself. Well, many ethers. Um, yeah, I think stealing that MP is doing a whole lot of nothing. So we're just gonna go back to attacking you now. Oh, of course you're... Yep. Um... Default? Oh, cool. Seth's turn's back. Um, hi. I've said it before, but I'm kind of tired of this fucking fight. So... Um... Crosscut? Okay, okay, I didn't have enough for it there. Okay, and you have that much HP left. Um, thievery. Damn it, we should just default. He's about to wail on us. Aha, uh -huh, you're out of MP. Yes, it worked! <laughs> Eat shit, you fucker. <laughs> you're out of MP now, bitch. What are you gonna do? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so the game, the game was fair about it. He did have a limit to his MP. Good. Oh my god, I'm so happy that worked. Okay, so for anybody having trouble with this fight, there's a tactic, I guess. Just have the Thief class and steal his MP a bunch until he can't use half of his attacks anymore, because the AI is stupid and will still attempt to use him. Let me see. Ah uh ha. -huh. Does it feel so good, does it, Roddy? Does to be cheesed to death? Ah uh ha. -huh. You can't do anything. Oh god, eat shit. Uh huh, not enough MP to cast it, you dumb shit. Yeah. Fuck you. Ugh. Oh boy. Screw that asshole. Now let's get back to feeling sorry for you. Also, let's get a new asterisk. Oh yeah, that's the right character. Red Mage. Red Mages excel at both offensive and restorative magic, making them versatile and vital battlefield companions. 
Perform an Earth Magic attack on all on a target slash all targets and restore 1,000 HP. Ooh, that's useful. But it's a hard limit 1,000 HP, which is not useful. Oh boy. Where, where am I? Elvis. What are you doing here? Man, you were trying to you were trying to do the one kind of alchemy you're not supposed to do, and we stopped you so you wouldn't lose your arms and legs. Regained your senses at last, eh, Roddy? <laughs> Good to have you back. I'll bet you don't remember anything, eh? Crikey. How can I ever apologize? Huck, there's no need. It's forgotten already. Well, that bit of it, at least. I'd be keen to hear what exactly happened to you, though. I'm afraid I'm as clueless as you on that front. I mean, I have some vague flashes of what I got up to, but... As to how or why I was doing it... Nope. Sorry, not a clue. I... I remember the town being overrun with trees and... and believing I could bring Mona back by making blue paint, of all things. But honestly, it all feels like it was someone else doing it. Do you remember when it started? Anything that might have set it off? Hmm. It was the painting. The painting? The one in your room? Aye. I got it after Mona died. At the same time as the asterisk, in fact. Someone must have given it to me, but... No, I can't remember who. Hey, not to worry, old pal. That wee clue about the picture's more than enough to be going on with. Oh, thank goodness. A lead in the case at last. Roddy, this may come as something of a shock, but you've a right to know. Lily may believe that your daughter is still alive. What? What do you mean? Fade the black explanation? No! Mona's dead. How can Lily believe they're living together out in the forest? Listen, let's not jump to any conclusions, eh? This is all just hearsay, remember? That's right. We're going to head out there and find out what's really going on. In that case, I'm coming with you. If someone's got into Lily's head the same way they got into mine, we need to help her, and fast. Aye, and who better to help her than the Institute's best love pair of tearaways? It's good to have you back, old pal. Thanks. All right, we'd best be getting on. Hmm. I wonder if I had went to the other place first, if this would have been reversed, and Lily would have came with me to help out Roddy. That's interesting, actually. Wow. Alright, so before we end the episode off, even though this episode's been an absolute millennia long... <clears throat> are these the last classes I get, I wonder? There's not much space that left down there at the bottom of the screen. Is it... The, Ar the Hunter slash Ranger class? And then Galahad's class, and then it looks like there might be room for like one or two more? Huh. Alright, so... Yup. So what are your stats right now? Attributes. So you've got 155 magical attack. So if we switch your job to red mage, we'll be looking at. And set your sub job as black mage. The outfit's a little boring. Usually red mages have a bit more extravagance, but unfortunately this one doesn't. You just get a red coat with roses on it. Oh well. So now if we go look at your attributes, uh, yeah, your magical attack took quite a dip. But that might be because you're not good with stabs when you're a red mage. Yeah, you mostly like swords. <clears throat> Which the best one we have is defender, so... Yeah, your magical attack takes quite a damn hit. Uh... Let's see, we're gonna have to take something off. I got you on this. Let's... Yeah, let's give you the miter instead. Okay, let's give you that, and then we'll put on the Defender. Which is still too heavy for you. Jesus. Um, okay, well we're just gonna have to go get you a sword from somewhere else. Um, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Why don't we? So, it probably just wants us to go to the next area, right? Monster challenge levels. Yep, 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 blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Load. Thank you. Um... No, you know what? We'll follow up on that next time. This video is already too long. I wanted to do it so I wouldn't forget, but... Um... It, this has just gone on long enough, so... 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Bravely Default 2, and I will see you next time.